My favorite Christmas carol was Silent Night. Silent Night. She was like one of the first person I called. Holy Night. Before he even really asked me, you know, I said, well, I'd really love to do Silent Night to record a classic Christmas carol for the world, you know, for time in memoriam, not for rock and roll, really. All is calm. All is bright. Stevie's song was recorded probably somewhere around May or June. So in LA, and it was, you know, 90 degrees. Round your virgin mother and child. We had Roy Bitten fly in, and we, we got a, about a 30 piece orchestra in there. And Stevie was there, and Robbie Neville, and this girl Sharon Solani were the singers. It's a great song. It's, it was interesting to really look at it as a song instead of a Christmas carol. Sleeping heavenly peace. That's the, just the right song for her, you know. And that's as important as anything when you're making any type of record, is to make sure you have the right song with the right person. <laughs> Christmas memory, when I was five and a half, I got up in the middle of the night and caught my father downstairs putting together a blue baby buggy for me. Then he told me that Santa had come by and was so busy and in such a terrible hurry that he had conferred with him for a little while to how to put the buggy together and that my dad had said he would take care of it for him. And I believed him and went back to bed. I just wanted it to kind of feel like the end of the album. I always knew that what song would end the album. So I wanted to make sure, and so did Stevie, that we kept that tone, that, you know, this was going to be the last song on the record. And uh, I think we captured that. Okay. Um, from what I understand, Stevie Nicks was one of the first people that you recorded for this project. So yeah. Start off with her, how she got involved, recording the track, etc. Well. We did a demo for Stevie's dad of Silent Night five years ago because I, 1983, I think it was, 1982-83, because I, I, I was telling her about my this idea for a Christmas album, and she goes, well, I want to do a song for my father, you know. I said, okay, let's do a demo of Silent Night. So we did a, I mean, a little TAC tape recorder, and we did this demo of Silent Night, which is very similar, actually, to the record that we actually recorded. And uh, we just kind of, again, forgot about it and left it, left it gone. But so when I, actually, when the album did start to go, she was like one of the first person I called. And I said, look, you're still into doing this. And she's fantastic. You know, she always says, oh, definitely. I'm, when, when do you want to do it, you know? And uh, she was, she's always a great sport. And that's how that song got accomplished. And we did it with, uh, co-produced it with Roy Bitten, you know, from the E Street Band. He played piano in the middle of the whole orchestra. It was really a fantastic day. And... Uh, and Stevie came in, and we got Robbie Neville in, sing, and this girl Sharon uh, Solani sing the backgrounds, and um, it was a pretty straight ahead thing to do. It really worked out uh, exactly how I pictured it. And uh, tell us a little bit about the recording session. When was it done? Uh, of Stevie's thing? Yeah. Uh, Stevie's song was recorded probably somewhere around May or June. So in L.A., and it was, you know, 90 degrees, <laughs> trying to get um, trying to get Silent Night recorded in 90 degree weather was uh, not as easy as you think, but, well, actually probably as difficult as you would think. But we just, uh, we had, we, we got... that one over again? So okay, sure. Getting, uh, we did Stevie, Stevie's song in uh, somewhere around May or June in, uh, at A&M Studios in Los Angeles, and what we had basically is we had Roy Bitten fly in, and we, we got a, about a 30-piece orchestra in there. And Stevie was there, and Robbie Neville, and this girl Sharon Solani were the singers. And we just tried to really create a classic structure of Silent Night. And Stevie changed it a little bit. And uh, we just wanted it to kind of feel 
like the end of the album. I always knew that what song would end the album. So I wanted to make sure, and so did Stevie, that we kept that tone. That, you know, this was going to be the last song on the record. And uh, I think we captured that. It was a great feeling in there. And that's the, just the right song for her, you know. And that's as important as anything when you're making any type of record. Just make sure you have the right song with the right person, you know. And that, that was basically as easy as it was. It was very, very simple. We just went in and, as you can hear on the record, it's just her and this orchestra. And, you know, it was fantastic. That's a question I wanted to ask you, which is... Well, I got up in the middle of the night. I was about five. And to go downstairs to basically check it out, check out if Santa had been there or whatever. And my dad was there, and he was on the floor, and he had all these, like, plans, like, like geometrical plans out on the floor. And he was putting together a little tiny baby blue buggy, a doll buggy for me. So, of course, I was very, you know, I couldn't understand why he was down there and why he was doing this. So I asked him very bluntly, why was he there and what was this that he was doing? And he said, well, Santa was very, very busy tonight, Stevie. And uh, so he showed me how to do this and asked me if I would put this buggy together for you. And so, but now this has to be our secret and you don't tell your mom, don't tell anybody. This is, you know, something I just decided to do and just forget about it, okay? And I said, no problem. And I, and I went back to bed and the next day when I, op you know, when I opened up this buggy that was all put together, I totally believed him that he absolutely had spoken with Santa and had this deep conversation. So that's, that's what I remember the most about Christmas. I remember that morning and that, that relationship between he and I. Silent Night was written in 1818 by an Austrian priest, Joseph Moore, and his church organist, Franz Gruber. For more than 150 years, it's been one of the most treasured of all Christmas songs. And it's a special favorite of Stevie Nicks, Grammy Award nominee, singer, songwriter, and member of Fleetwood Mac. In fact, she once made a demo recording of Silent Night as a Christmas present for her parents. Tonight, together with her very special guest, Robbie Neville, she's making a present of it to us.